Agua. Who's that? It must be the Monkey King. Did I ever tell you I'm his biggest fan, my fantastically felicitous feline? I believe you might have mentioned it once or twice. Maybe Wu Shang will let me perform with him. All I have to do is practice and... by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Wu-Shan is known throughout the world for his portrayal of the Monkey King. Did I ever tell you I'm his biggest fan? Mm, many times, many, many times. Wu-Shan, did I ever tell you I'm his biggest fan, my fantastically felicitous feline? I believe you might have mentioned it once or twice. I always wanted to be in the Beijing Opera. Maybe Wu Shang will let me perform with him. All I have to do is practice and... <sighs> mm -hmm. First of all, my dear, you're a cat. Even we have our limitations. And second of all, I can't imagine you being an opera singer. I thought you said you liked opera. Oh, I do. In fact, I love opera. But that yowling you make with the alley cats isn't opera. It's just noise. It is not just noise. We're rehearsing. That's what rehearsals are for. Well, you certainly spend a lot of time doing it, whatever it is. You spend just as much time playing five dots. I do not. Oh, no. Let's not argue in front of the children, my dear. Mama! Baba! The Monkey King is here! Come and see! Come and see! We still have work to do. We'll see the Monkey King later, all right? Come on, you two! What are we waiting for? Welcome to our humble home, Usan. We are honored to have you here. We'd be even more honored if you would grace us with a performance. Perhaps <laughs> of the Monkey King? I wish I could, but I cannot. I am traveling alone. How can I possibly play the Monkey King without the actors who play my monkeys? How hard could it be to play a monkey? I bet you couldn't do it, Fufu. People train years and years to sing opera. It takes lots and lots of practice. <laughs> 
Well, it sounds like a bunch of squealing and screaming, if you ask me. You're such a silly bat. Come on, let's see what's happening over there. I see you're playing five dots again. I don't spend any more time playing five dots than you spend rehearsing your precious opera. Well, I have to. Those alley cats really need a lot of practice. What we do is art. What you do is just a game. Art? Art? Oh, yes, you must go and help them sing more artfully. Art indeed. And by the way, I'll have you know that it takes a lot of skill to play five dots well. Hmm. Okay, but we better be quiet. Don't make a sound. Ah, yeah! Oh, not that racket again! I'm afraid it's the Alley Cat Opera starring the one and only Baba Meow. That's exactly what it is. Who ever told him he could sing? I want a word with you, Baba Meow. Let me guess. Does this have anything to do with our singing? Yes, it does. Most certainly. You said you liked opera. As a matter of fact, you said you loved it. Yes. Real opera. Oh, no. They're fighting again. But your brand of so-called <clears throat> opera chased Nine Eye away while we were playing Five Dots. I, I don't see why it would. And you probably woke everyone else up in the palace, too, while you were at it. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go for a walk and talk about it? Well, all right. But don't think you can sweet-talk your way out of this one. I'm warning you, it isn't going to work. Mama and Papa don't love each other anymore. What? What are you talking about? You saw them. They were arguing. Shigwa, just because Mama and Baba were arguing, well, it doesn't mean that they don't love each other. Dong was right, Shigwa. I... I guess so. You are sure about this, aren't you, Dongwa? Come on, Shigwa. We'll talk to Mama and Baba in the morning, okay? Okay. You don't really mind me spending some time on my opera, do you? No, not really. <laughs> I guess not. Actually, you do have a very strong voice. Very masculine. And you don't really mind me playing five dots, do you? Of course not, my dear. Your skill is unmatched. I'm proud of your playing. Good morning, Wushan. I hope you slept well. Is there anything you need? Anything we can do for you? Well, I do need to rehearse. So if there is a suitable room in your magnificent palace, Anywhere you wish. Thank you, my kind friend. Why did you want to talk to us, children? Well, um, you and Mama do love each other, right? Of course we do. Well, we all heard you arguing last night. And Shigwa is afraid you and Baba don't love each other anymore. Hmm. We're very sorry you heard the argument, but we do love each other. Very much. And we love you very much, too. And we always will. Everyone argues sometimes. Even you, Shigwa. Every so often you argue with Sagwa and Dongwa, right? Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean you don't love them, does it? No, of course I love them. In fact, sometimes arguing with people you care about makes you realize just how important they are to you. Come on! Let's go see what the Monkey King is doing. Oh, Usa. 
fun. Does this mean you've changed your mind about performing? Sorry, I'm just practicing. I cannot perform without my monkeys. Here are your monkeys, Wushan. They'd be perfect. Well, I... That is... I insist. What a wonderful idea. We have so little opportunity to go to the opera, and the magistrate is so fond of the Monkey King. Well, all right. I'll give it a try. Oh! No! Out, out, out. I'm so sorry, Ushan. I have no idea where these kittens came from. No, oh, wait. I found my monkeys. They're naturals. All they need is a bit of rehearsal. I will perform as a monkey king. Ha! Yeah! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the monkey king! Anybody could have done huh? that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> well, you couldn't have. Could too. No way! <laughs> well, now I guess we're having an argument. Mm -hmm. But we're still friends, right? The best! <gasps> uh oh, I think I hear another argument coming on. <laughs> and this one might not have such a friendly ending. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, something tells me I shouldn't be sticking around here. <laughs> Yum! Some of my favorite times of the day are meal times. I love breakfast. You may think rice is for dinner, but in South China, people eat rice for breakfast too. It's called kanji, a hot porridge made from rice. And kanji never gets boring. It can be sweet or salty, and you can add different ingredients like meat or vegetables. When there's more time on the weekend, people in South China like to eat dim sum for breakfast. Carts come by and you can pick what you like. Dim sum means little dish. There's shrimp balls, eggplant, mushrooms, wontons, and all sorts of other yummy stuff. It's a great way to try a lot of different tastes without getting too full. What about you? What do you eat for breakfast? I really like egg tortillas for breakfast because they taste good. Well, you put egg in them and cheese, and you roll them up, and you eat them. My cats are always on our tra chairs, begging for food. They like eggs. I'm opening up the, 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 the thin layer of bread and putting in the cheese that's grilled, mm. or like kind of like grilled cheese, and um, I'm putting in the eggs and some milk, and I'm folding it up. And that's how I make egg tortillas. Now that's a great story. Ooh, I'm kind of hungry. Let's see. What's cooking for breakfast in Mexico? Pan dulce. This means sweet bread. And pan dulce comes in many shapes and sizes. Make 
Baking it isn't too hard. You break some eggs, add milk, add some flour, and then add yeast. <laughs> That's what makes it rise. But it's not done yet. A little sugar on top makes it sweet, even if it does get a little messy. So there's all types of breakfast from around the world. <laughs> I'm getting kind of hungry. Whoa! Oh. What, what about, about you? you? Next on Sagwa. All right, my children. Now remember, the foolish magistrate is having a very important guest today. You must look your best and be on your very best behavior. And who's this important guest? One of the emperor's cousins from Beijing. Did you notice them? Their beautiful silks and satins being carried around by servants on pillows like that? I'm Sagwa. I'm one of the foolish magistrates. We are in no mood for visitors. Just leave, huh? please. The foolish magistrate is having a very important guest today. You must look your best and be on your very best behavior. What's so special about today? Yes, Mama. What's so special? And who's this important guest? The foolish magistrate's guest is one of the emperor's cousins from Beijing. He's come a long, long way across mountains and rivers and... Ah, that's a long way to walk and swim. Shigua, I'm sure he didn't walk. Grace, we welcome you and your three daughters, who are the most beautiful flowers in all of China. It has long been the tradition of my ancestors to welcome members of the Imperial Court. Today, we carry on that tradition. Well, those cats from Beijing, did you notice them? Their beautiful silks and satins being carried around by servants on pillows like that? And those wonderful booties they wear. I wasn't really paying attention. I was looking straight ahead, just like Papa said I should. Well, you should see them. Come on, I'll show you. But Sagwa, they don't look so happy. Yeah, you're right. But how could they be unhappy? With such beautiful pillows and booties and all those other fantastic things? It must just be their snooty attitudes. Sagwa! How dare you remove your slipper, you ungrateful feline! You know my rule. Your feet are never to get dirty. Your feet are never to touch the ground. Put that back on now. If I ever catch any of you without your slippers, you will find yourselves in the streets. Do I make myself clear? I have a good mind to leave you without dinner tonight. So, tonight I shall be generous. than we do. Look at those silver dishes. That makes me hungry. Let's go to the kitchen. Good idea. Maybe Cook will have some shrimp for us. What's wrong? You usually love shrimp. Yeah, they're good, I guess. But imagine having a whole bowl of shrimp, a silver bowl of shrimp. 
Served to you on a platter. Oh, Sagwa, you're so silly. Sagwa, Shigwa, time for bed. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll dream about it tonight. Well, maybe you should go talk to those Beijing cats tomorrow. That might be fun. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, good day, and how are you? What? Who are you? I'm Sagwa. I'm one of the Foolish Magistrate's cats, and I just wanted to welcome you to our house, too. We are in no mood for visitors. Just leave, please. We are not happy today and would like to be left alone, thank you very much. Now, shoo! Not happy? Why, you should be very happy. You have such beautiful things, and your lives are so exciting, traveling everywhere. Shh! We're not allowed to talk to you. Our master will be angry now. Get! Why are you eating rice? Our cook gives us fish and shrimp. We are only allowed to eat rice so our breath won't smell and offend our master. Rice is no food for cats. You are so lucky, little kitten, if your cook gives you shrimp and fish. Rice day in, day huh? out gets to be very tiring. I take it you have a family here, yes? Well, sure, of course I do. My mama and baba, and my brother Donghua, and my sister Shigua. How lucky you are. We were ripped away from our family so long ago, we don't even remember them. But we're stuck all the time, sitting in cold and drafty rooms on these shivery, slippery pillows. But they look so beautiful. I assure you, they don't feel beautiful. But I'd still give anything to wear your beautiful booties. How about if we do a trade? Trade what? Yes, what would you like to trade? Okay, how about this? I'll go to the kitchen and get you some shrimp, and you let me wear a pair of your booties for a while. Deal. I guess it's time to keep our part of the bargain. The slippers! These things are tight! Not so comfortable, huh? Just goes to show you, just because something is beautiful doesn't mean it's going to feel good. Ow! But this certainly feels good. What, may I ask? No boots. It feels perfectly wonderful. Our paws. They're black with dirt. The master will punish us. Sagwa, help us. Quick, come with me. Mama, Papa, Mama. Help 
me clean them up! You've gotten these cats in such trouble. I swear, you're always... Ma'am, if I might explain. Your daughter did not get us into trouble. In fact, she has shown us the most kindness we have seen in years. She fed us shrimp and let us act like real cats for a few wonderful moments. Most of all, she offered us her friendship. Well, Sagwa, I was wrong. I apologize. And now, Sagwa, we must go. We thank you and your family for being so kind to us. We are very grateful for your generosity and very envious of the life you lead here. Envious? Of me? Yes, very envious. You have a lovely life, a lovely family. You should enjoy it. But I was envious of you, all your beautiful things, your servants. Sometimes the simple ways are the best ways. Just because something is beautiful doesn't mean that it is pleasant or comfortable. Remember those awful slippers? <laughs> did you ever get to try on those slippers you thought were so beautiful? Yep, I did. And did you feel like a princess? Princess? They hurt! <laughs> <laughs> so? So, I never knew that bare paws were such a luxury. Who needs booties? <laughs> <laughs> let's go top cook out of some more shrimp. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> To learn more about Sagwa, visit us at pbskids.org. My very best friend. It just so happens he's also a bat. And even though he may seem a little clumsy sometimes, I'm all right. he's really smart and funny. That was my call for the brave Foo Foo Fighters. We have lots of exciting adventures together. He's always around to help me out of a jam. He's just an all around great bat to hang out with. Thank you. Thank you. 